One of the underlying premise of our exhibition is the quote, the death of a man is a tragedy, the death of millions is a statistic. It's a quote by Stalin. And I thought about that quote a lot um, when I look back at my visit to the Paris undergrounds. And if you go to the Paris undergrounds, there are about six million people down in those tunnels. And they're not buried, they're actually stacked alongside of them and you're almost brushing up against them. But when you leave, you have this eerie sense of first being overwhelmed by it all, but also what your life means in the end. And going back to that quote by Stalin, where, you know, where someone, there can be a, a tragedy like Darfur or uh, the Rwanda, where it involves millions of people, and then it just seems to be too overwhelming, and you just can't get your mind uh, around it. But you know, I think we might be getting just a little bit ahead of ourselves. Let's take a walk around and explore the rest of the exhibition. Uh, the catacomb piece, our first monochromatic piece. This piece, for me, symbolizes that whole College of the Cardinals thing, the gossiping, the uh, intrigue, the politics that goes into electing a new pope. And that leads us to this piece, the 194 Cardinals. This piece is actually a different type of firing. It's a salt firing. So we used uh, bits of strawberries, uh, wire, and uh, uh, those type of pieces to get this uh, mottled look. It almost has the color of bone. And what's really interesting about this piece is it seems like it was meant to be. Uh, we went online and just for the heck of it wanted to find out how many cardinals there were at the time, and there were 194. And we knew we wanted to do a large piece. We had a, a classic box, which um, would be this box right here. And with a couple smaller boxes, we just quickly assembled them just for aesthetic reasons to get this balance. And then right away, we just counted, and it equaled 194 cardinals. I think for both of us, this box is very, very, very important. For me as an artist, it represents one of the world's great tragedies, the Holocaust. From Denise's perspective, it's Pompeii. And I don't know, for me, what I, what I found so interesting in this box is how two artists can work from two different directions with two different concepts and come up with what they're both incredibly happy with. And to, to a viewer, probably something totally different. It might look like white chocolate in a, in a box, a little white chocolates in a box. Actually, somebody did refer to it as, as white chocolates in a box. So sometimes you do a piece and after it's over with, you just sit back and you look at it and you think, ah, that's it, I've made my statement. On this one, I think the statement's been made, but I, I, think, I think there's more to be said. I think there's a lot more to be said about that piece. With this piece, uh, we want to do a series of mummies that just vibrated with color. And we had this uh, very interesting box that had some irregular squares that we just couldn't really fit in the right figure. But we knew we wanted to do something bright, so what we did is we placed this mummy in there just to get an idea of the color. And we immediately looked at each other and said, it's finished. <laughs> there are so many mummies in so little time. Vina, what do you think of this piece? Well, I think it's a big Catholic phallic symbol. Uh, another, <laughs> another interpretation. <laughs> well, on the lighter subject, uh, we decided to do a series called the Cat Combs. What's funny about this is this is probably the only series that touches on Egypt and uh, Egyptian mummies, and they're in the form of cats, which you would find a lot of times buried along in, the, in the, uh, the chambers. There is actually a legend that the Egyptians once thwarted invasion of foreigners by unleashing thousands of cats and then uh, scaring the army into uh, a retreat, a hasty retreat. So uh, we wanted to play with that. So this is catacombs. This is actually called the Terragato Warriors. Um, inspired by the terracotta warriors of China. Um, in this take, actually in Italian, gatto is cat, so we've got that pun, terragato warriors. And then we have, of course, cat a log. Personally, like every guy from my generation, I lusted after Audrey Hepburn, uh, who was in the film Roman Holiday. So this piece is entitled Roman Holiday, if you think of mummies on an eternal vacation. 
Well, I'm from Duluth and I grew up on Lake Superior in its cold, deep waters, which has um, been the permanent resting place for many sailors uh, who have perished in its waters. So I think of the legend of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Uh, when making this piece with the uh, rusty metal, I actually thought of the Kursk, the this tragic story, well, the tragic history of the submarine that went down a few years back. In the background, those are actually the names of all the sailors. Written as such, you can't really make out the names, and I think that just adds to the mystery. We don't want to suggest too much with the piece. This show is a cross-section of the boxes that we do from the small and intimate to the medium size to the more colossal in nature. Well, we want you to come in and be overwhelmed, but do what we do. We just want to sit back, have a glass of wine, and enjoy the mummies. Bravo.